Well, this is a, a truly unique rugby league occasion. It is an incredible atmosphere inside this stadium, the, uh, the Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland. Biggest rugby league crowd in this city for five years. And what about this noise? What's at stake is a World Cup final place in Brisbane in seven days hence. And you know what, right here, right now, that almost seems irrelevant. It's all about this contest. Countdown on the big screen. And we're off to a thunderous noise. Hand in the air from Luke Gale to collect. First possession for England. James Graham runs it back. Here's Hodgson. Brown on the inside. Back for Hill. Hill putting on the footwork. Trying to batter his way through. We were talking to Josh Hodgson earlier this week about the atmosphere, and he said, you know what, players on the field don't actually notice the atmosphere once you get into the game. I suspect he's noticing this noise. I think he's telling you fibs. Here's Burgess. Chance to break. Looking maybe to keep it alive, but down he goes. Ryan Hall at dummy half. Back to Gale again. Up goes the kick. Not the best from him. McGilvray oh, will catch. catch. And the flag. Oh. oh, he's giving it away. Giving it away and taking the risk. And Tonga have it back again on the 20. Well, I thought it was a great catch. And he had to take the punt, McGilvery. Watkins was sniffing around him. The fact that he went to a red jumper. They're coming up that play as well. Exciting start. Andrew Fafita, half through with the offload as well. From England's point of view, it's just as well it didn't go to hand straight away. Will Hopawati will search for a bit of width on that right-hand side. And they've got an opportunity there momentarily for Fussy Tua, but England's defence is quickly across to close that chance. Six tattle coming up. Where are they going with it? Left-footed slide kick, which bounces straight into the hands of McGilvray. His go forward is limited to that, but he'll be happy to have it back again here. England. Well, a couple of things there. I don't know if you picked up just in the offload football from Tonga. Could be a real problem for England if they allow them to do that. A couple of offloads in that sequence made that set six, seven, eight, nine tackles long in effect. Tonga certainly playing to their strengths in the opening minutes of this game, going through the middle with their big men. And the one luxury they do have with Fafita and Tomalolo is not just their oh. size. That's a great ball from Graham, but has got Widdup on the loose. Gale is up there trying to get rid of it with him. Widdup now ducking away. He has support from Burgess, but he's still going here, Widdup, and eventually stopped 20 metres out. Great moment for England. Great break from Gareth Widdup. Great inside ball. Gale's going for the chip early here as well. Hall's up there. And I think they might have given a penalty away, have they? That's head and feet to England, surely. Yeah, it is a scrum. It is England's head and feet. I think that's an area that they'll definitely target for the game. With the Tongan big men in the middle of the field, we can see a great inside pass there from Graham to Widdup. And I think that's an area that they'll definitely target through this match. Try and get, a, get the big men to move laterally in at that A defender and that marker. And that's a great line break. And that'll do their confidence a world of good. He's been a revelation, hasn't he, at full-back, Gareth Widdup. It's Gale. Back it comes to Kevin Brown. They're trying to craft something here. Right, it yeah. is going to be an opening try for Jermaine McGilvray. It's now ten consecutive matches in which he has scored for England. And England's craft from the moment that Widdup made the break to the moment that McGilvray touched down was something to behold. Well, it's smart football. The break initially, but there's a big play from the scrum. Gale goes into the teeter line. So does Brown attacking the outside defenders. And it's just a catch and pass to get McGilvery into the corner. That's why I love Widdup at fullback. It gets him a pass wider. 
Brown gets to deliver the pass to Widdop. He's smart enough and experienced enough to ball play on the back of that or use his strength, which is running. On that occasion, chose to pass to McGilvray, who's been one of the form players of the tournament so far, and they go in for the first try. So he knows the range. Has he got it this time? Oh, yes, he has. With the help of the upright, the ball bounces in. It was a nerve jangler, but it still counts. And England lead by six points to nil. His threat diffused on that occasion. Fafita, good offload. But there goes Watkins all over Hingano. They're going to have to kick here soon because they're running out of tackles, but they can always make the break, of course. And Conrad Hurrell now on the end of great stuff from Lola Hare. The pass on to Fussy Toa inside for Hurrell again, and it's going to be Jennings held up just short, but he's tackled, and then he passes the ball. Well, it was thrilling stuff from the Tongans, but in the end, the Australian referee, Matt Chechen, decides the tackle was completed. O'Loughlin, Brown with a pass, Whitehead with a dummy, and he's got support from Widdop, who's very close, surges for the line. The referee's going to ask the question here. Double movement is what they're looking for. So the decision comes, and we know what it's going to be. England have the try. Widdop has his second. And English fans all around are on their feet and cheering. What a wonderful start this has been for England in this semi-final. Well, you might get the feeling that the Tongan supporters are not happy with that decision. Widdop's kick is good again. It's two out of two, but as far as England starts concerned, it's a 10 out of 10 performance so far. They lead by 12 points to nil. If they score early in this second half, England are in trouble. Avili. Inside it goes. Sikamanu. Pushing hard. Five away. Avili's there at dummy half again, lining up to his left and right. He'll try and go himself. England's defence is too good for that. And it's Manu who waits. Lola here to his right. Manu's trying to go as well. Well, that's a dumb play, you'd have to say, because England's wall was waiting. Ngarno trying to create some numbers here. Over the top it goes. Oh, oh, it's it. fun. Absolutely blown away that chance. Tupu couldn't keep hands on ball. And England survive a real scare. Concerning from Tonga, but they eventually make the tackle stick. But here comes Gale, and this is Burgess, and just enough of a, a challenge from Hurrell to put him down. And the ball has been stolen after the referee shouted hell. So I think they're going to kick for goal here, aren't they? Well, I would. I think they sound wrestle business. We saw there the benefits of England. Dummy half running from Roby from McGilvery. Tongans tiring in and around the middle. Stick with it, get the penalty, takes you three scores in front. We saw down there a shot of um, Andrew Fafita pawing the ground almost. Tucky High likewise. Widdop's penalty, has he struck gold? Yes, he has. England have a three-score lead psychologically, if nothing else. That's a huge blow from England's point of view. Tonga know that the comeback has just been made a little bigger here. He's Ingano. already made a difference, hasn't he? Tamalolo. How do you stop him? Well, here comes drive number one from Manu Mahu. 
They're 12 away and getting closer. It's now Takiyahu, time on the bench, but back on the field. This is a moment that England need to stand strong. Katoa comes out. Here's Tomololo, bouncing off two or three shoulders one way, going another, but England defenders swarm around. And down he goes. Katoa. Left again, an urge and a surge from Fafita. We know what he's like, we've seen him in a grand final score from similar range. Back it comes again. Left it goes, this time to Mahu. But that's five attempts gone, they've only got one left. England, England defending well. Hingano with a little dummy, then gets the kick away. Hall's underneath it, he's got a challenge up there as well from Fussy Tua. Well, that is one of the ways they scored against New Zealand in the group games. Robies in at dummy half. Gale with a probing kick towards the corner. That's a good kick. That is a terrific kick. It'll take a very good play for wow. Tonga to get out of here. They tried it, but they couldn't pull it off. England's chase superb. That's the first class kick that you want. Soki Hoho with a kick. Brown with a catch. Hill with a return. Here he comes on the charge. England setting up camp inside the Tongan half here. Burgess, Tom Burgess, that's a good carry. That's a terrific carry from Thomas Burgess, who's put England right back where they want to be here, 15 yards away. Roby comes out. Gale sweeps it away. Went up with a time pass. Bateman back on the inside. England have their third try, and they have one foot in Brisbane already, if this is given. Matt Chechen is going for the video. I think what we missed there was him saying he thought it was a try on the field. England's try it's looking now as though it's going to be England's semi-final John Bateman's score it's a long way back from Tonga so here's Winnip's conversion attempt and he's nailed that as well he's not done a lot wrong tonight has he Gareth Winnip and at 20 points to nil England no now Well, guess which way Tonga are going here. Every single man on this near side. Takeyahu. Seven and a half minutes to go. Mission improbable is now surely mission, mission impossible. Havili. Here's Avili again, looking to feed something, trying to make something happen. Pangai, I think he might have got to the line there. I think he might have given Tongan fans something to cheer. He thinks so too. But he wants to make absolutely sure. Well, it's a late consolation that Pangai Jr. is going to get a try here. And the stadium has just erupted. As if that was a try, the second is the World Cup final. Sokeyaku taking it in. And Gunnar gets it away. 
Tonga desperate for another now. England not really in danger in terms of the result of this game, but they would not want to concede twice at the end. Look who's there, James Graham, round the legs of Hurrell. But a step back on the inside from Lola Hare. That looked forward. Fafita gets up and plays it. Avili carries it now with real intent here. He shrugged away one, and over he goes. They would still have to score twice more here, Tonga. It's a big set coming up, though. We saw that incredible fight back against New Zealand. This would be beyond spectacular. Here comes Jason Tomalolo, looking for support. Has it on the inside, running away. There's Lola Hare. Lola Hare is underneath the sticks. Something incredible is on here now. It could not be any louder. Three tries in the space of five minutes. And there is still time for Tonga. Here's Tomalola charging with all his might. Wave of emotion crashing down from the stands, fueling this incredible fight back from Tonga. But feet has held up on the halfway line. Runs wide, does Pandai Jr. Kept alive to Hopawati. Here this comes the last play. This is it. Last play, they're going to run it. Conrad Hurrell. Gets a pass out towards Fussy Tua. Inside for Lola Hare. English hearts heartbroken five years ago against New Zealand. It's, oh, it's McGilbray it's who intercepts. Jermaine McGilbray. He has the ball not free. Tonga have it back and another six tackles. 45 seconds to go. Here they come. Listen to this noise. Tumalolo. Rise the tackle of Graham. Taking on superhuman powers. Gets it to 10 metres out. 30 to go. Took a hail. Held up. England on the line. Havili. Hurrell. Crashing forward. If they score, there's no way back for England. No time. English hearts are beating now. English minds focused on keeping out this red wave. Left it goes. Fafita, he's lost it. Fafita's lost it. And England have won it. In that moment. Well, the referee's got a decision to make here. He has lost it. He's not going to be moved. The blood full time. And that is full time. What a finish. What an occasion. What a World Cup semi-final!